Hey, and welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. Now, we tried the 2014 Cadillac CTS. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break it down with all the other sedan models and really let you know where this one fits in in the family lineup. Now, when you look at the exterior of the CTS, you're going to see the strong family lines that you'll see on the ATS and the XTS models. Now, obviously, they've changed the naming on these vehicles far from the Seville and the Deville you may recall. Now, if you get a little confused on all this, we're going to break it down. Now, the CTS falls right in the middle, obviously, the midsize offering. The XTS, which we just drove just a few months ago, now that's the full size offering. The ATS, of course, is the smallest version and really more that sport tune like model. Now, so when we compare in size of vehicles, we need to talk about the numbers. Now, if you look at the CTS, it's going to measure in about 195 inches overall with a 114 inch wheelbase. Now, it's going to measure about a foot longer than the ATS model, which is about a few inches longer on the wheelbase. Now, if you compare it to the XTS, that's only going to measure in about seven inches overall with a little bit minor difference in the wheelbase as well. Now, what it really translates to in all is the cargo space and really that interior volume, primarily in the back seat, as you're really going to obviously figure that the the XTS is going to offer the most around about 40 inches with the CTS falling just a few inches shorter with the ATS really coming up most anemic around about 33 inches in the back. Now the Cadillac has come a long way really since our daddy's caddies and what you're going to notice with the design elements is that really the front and the rear deck lids are gone really a short rear end. Now before it used to be a huge offering with a huge rear deck allowing you to really climb inside and had it all open. Now in this particular models and most designs, they're going to be short, more like a cavern. Obviously it's still enough space inside, but really the trunk's going to be short. You're going to have to climb inside to really look for your items because it's not as open as it once was. Now really what has come a long way, of course, is the key technology. Now these are smart key systems like we've talked about. And what's great is you're really allowed to leave these in your pocket, go to the vehicle and simply press a corresponding button and it rises to the occasion. Now once it's open, you're obviously going to notice that kind of short opening I talked about. Not open like the old days, really having to dive inside as all the items are really going to get tucked way back, especially go to the grocery store. It means you're going to have to really kind of get a grasp on your items. Now, when you talk about front seat legroom, any midsize sedan is obviously going to be at a premium because that's really what the design is catering to. Now, the second row is not necessarily the case. Now, the XDS model is going to be right about 40 inches. Again, comparable to the front, so obviously you're going to have plenty of comfort on that XTS in the second row. Now, the CTS model is going to drop about 5 inches, around about 36, 37 inches, meaning it's going to be a little bit tighter. And obviously, you can tell that they designed the back seats to really have little niches so your knees maybe aren't scraping as much. Now, if you go to the ATS model, that's really going to be the most anemic, around about 33 inches, which is comparable to a third row in an SUV, meaning it's going to be the tightest area in the whole family lineup, meaning the ATS is probably not meant to carry four people all the time. Now, one of the best features I love on these Cadillacs is really this rear limo screen. Now, on this particular model, they're kind of going with a new class. Normally, there's like a two-class system. This actually has a center one that really goes up and makes it real easy to get that hanging. Now, you've obviously got this little side window. They've actually made one for that as well. And what I noticed is besides blocking out the sun, it really actually kind of secures that area. That had some kind of valuables back there. And really, once you put these screens into place, it really blacks it out and prevents anybody from kind of seeing what's in there. Now, if you look under the hood, there's one thing you're not going to find. It's going to be a full-size V8. Instead, you're going to find a V6 in two versions, either the standard or the twin turbo. Now, that's the only option on the XTS because obviously with the full-size offering, you're going to need a little bit more horsepower under the hood. Now, on the CTS, you have two engines as well, the V6 or a turbo 2.0 liter four-cylinder. Now, if you go to the ATS, they're going to give you two four-cylinder options and the V6 as well. Now, by the horsepower numbers, the twin turbo is going to be over 400 with the standard V6 being over 300. Now, if you go with the turbo four-cylinder, that's going to be around about 272 horses with the 2.5 liter four-cylinder really being there for fuel economy. 
Now the design cues you're going to find on all the Cadillacs, it really doesn't just stay on the outside, it's really on the inside as well with the Cadillac user experience being right there in front and center and of course a lot of the same elements on the inside. Now one thing you will notice from the XTS to even to the CTS is really kind of the sport difference in this model, obviously with this dramatic brown leather and kind of that sport inspired feel. Now really go to the ATS that is the smallest offering, that really is going to give you more of a dynamic sport feel compared even to the XTS. Now, if the CTS is your first experience back in a Cadillac, the one thing you're really going to notice is innovation. And again, behind the steering wheel, that nice digital gauge cluster replacing the old traditionals that you've seen back in the days. Now, that's obviously going to tie in with the Cadillac user experience and really all the other innovations, right down to the glove box that's electronically controlled and even the cup holders that even hide away at the touch of a button. Now, last but not least is the driver experience in this vehicle. Now, obviously with Cadillac, depending on which model you go with, you can either have that luxurious experience or that more sport inspired feel behind the wheel. Now, where that all translates to is on the transmission because obviously it's automatic, but you can put in that sport mode right down to the paddle shifters. And you're really going to notice that with the dynamic modes that you can select right here, really it changes really how you feel behind the wheel and either you're going to scoot off the line or kind of float down the road. Now it does it for this edition of Road Warrior and our test drive behind the 2014 Cadillac CTS. Now we made some brief references to the ATS and even the XTS model, really trying to give you an overview of where these vehicles fall in because obviously the ATS is going to give that sport inspired feel while the XTS gives that full size luxury offering with the CTS falling somewhere in between. Now obviously the design cues across the family are all really mirroring each other. So really it comes down to the comfort on the inside, the cargo option, and really that power plant under the hood. So again, I'd like to thank you for watching this edition of Road Warrior. And as always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.